Thank you, particularly for the opportunity to appear today and speak on behalf of uh, Senate Bill 1708, the John H. Chafee Blackstone River Valley National Historical Park Establishment Act. I'm a proud co-sponsor of this legislation along with Senator Kerry, Senator Whitehouse, and Senator Scott Brown. I particularly want to thank Senator Kerry for his kind words in support of this legislation, but also uh, he was instrumental along with uh, Senator Ted Kennedy, John Chafee, Lincoln Chafee, and others in moving us where we are today. We're on the verge, we hope, of enacting this legislation and create a national park. Uh, creating uh, this new national park will preserve the uh, industrial heritage and natural and cultural resources of the Blackstone River Valley. It'll help provide economic development opportunities for the local economies and build upon the, the solid foundation that the John H. Chafee Blackstone River Valley National Heritage Corridor has already established. Samuel Slater built uh, his mill in 1793 and started the American Industrial Revolution in Rhode Island along the Blackstone River. Uh, he uh, was an early uh, <coughs> a proponent of taking intellectual property and bringing it someplace else and getting an industry going. He did. Uh, and that uh, really was the beginning of the Industrial Revolution in the United States and the factory system. And uh, it all has roots from there. But as Senator Kerry has pointed out, the Blackstone River Valley is a rich uh, concentration of mills and villages that illustrate this whole period of American history from the 1790s and through the mid uh, part of the 1800s. The Blackstone Valley is truly a national treasure. Thousands of acres of beautiful undeveloped land and waterways that have been developed and made accessible to vacationers and, and outdoors men and women. The extensive work of the National Park Service and the tireless efforts of federal, state, and local officials, developers, and volunteers in both Rhode Island and Massachusetts have resulted in the recovery of dozens of historic villages, riverways, rural landscapes throughout the corridor. It's a remarkable success story. These types of economic redevelopment and environmental restoration efforts reflect the ongoing story of the Blackstone River and the whole valley stretching between Massachusetts and Rhode Island. One example is the Ashton Mill in Cumberland, Rhode Island. With the designation as a National Historic Corridor, with the cleanup of the Blackstone River that resulted, with the creation of the Blackstone River as State Park in Lincoln, very close to Ashton, and the construction of the Blackstone River Bikeway, this property was then restored for adaptive reuse as rental apartments. Once again, an old mill that was on the verge of demolition was turned into a, a vital uh, and vibrant rental property uh, that has revitalized the entire community. That's one example of what's happening along the Blackstone River. We've made progress in environmental restoration. Uh, Senator Kerry invited you to uh, get on a kayak and a canoe and come down the river. I don't think he would have done that 20 years ago. Uh, I, he, you can do it now. In fact, uh, we had Ken Salazar up there, and as he was walking along the Blackstone, the kayakers and the canoers and the <coughs> and the people doing their laps were up and down. So it has been restored. <coughs> I've been pleased to help over the years, working with both John, my colleague John Chafee and our Massachusetts colleagues with Lincoln Chafee and with Sheldon Whitehouse. Senator Lincoln Chafee was the one who asked the National Park Service to conduct a special resource study of the Heritage Corridor. After extensive local input from stakeholders and historians, the draft study was released last July and officially transmitted to Congress this March. The study recommended the creation of a new national historic park whose boundaries would encompass nationally significant areas in both Rhode Island and Massachusetts, including the Blackstone River and its tributaries, the Blackstone Canal, and the historic districts of Old Slater Mill in Pawtucket, the villages of Slatersville and Ashton in Rhode Island, and the villages of Wittensville and Hopedale in Massachusetts. The Department of Interior officially stated in its recent letter to Congress about the study that its preferred management option is the creation of a new national historical park since it is the most effective and efficient alternative for the protection of resources and visitor use and enjoyment and favored by most Blackstone River Valley stakeholders and citizens who commented on the study. The park described in the study and the legislation that I've introduced along with Senator Kerry would be run collaboratively through a special partnership in which the National Park Service would manage and operate the facilities and provide educational services in the park in partnership with regional and local preservation groups 
who would lead the efforts to preserve the surrounding rural and agricultural landscape within the greater Blackstone River Valley. The partnerships between the federal, state, and local and private organizations have a proven track record of success within the corridor, and I believe that the communities in Rhode Island and Massachusetts that have been engaged on this endeavor for many years will continue to successfully partner with the National Park Service going forward. Designating these areas as a National Historical Park has important economic, environmental, historical, and educational benefits for the region. It would provide opportunities for work, opportunities for recreation, and opportunities to boost economic development while memorializing the history of this place and its role in the American Industrial Revolution. This is a two-state initiative, clearly indicated by the presence of Senator Kerry and myself today. And Mr. Chairman, I too uh, am very proud as Senator Kerry that this uh, park has been ch chosen to commemorate the work of John H. Chafee, a great environmentalist. Uh, in 1962, when I was 12 years old, as the governor of the state, he introduced uh, the Green Acres Program, which was state resources acquiring uh, open lands. Now, that was eight years before the real dawn of the environmental movement in the United States. He was a visionary then, a visionary in the Senate, and this would be a fitting tribute to his service as a Marine, as the Secretary of the Navy, as a United States Senator, as the Governor of Rhode Island, and as a great American. And so I hope that we can move together, work with the Park Service, come quickly to a conclusion, and, and move this forward. I would also like to submit a letter in support of this uh, legislation from Senator Whitehouse. Without objection. Again, Mr. Chairman, thank you so much. Uh, I look forward to working with you. and. Uh, Chairman Bingaman, Ranking Member Murkowski, Ranking Member Paul, and all the members of the committee. Thank you.